Auto Line on the Road from Motorbella 2021 is brought to you by Tajin Automotive Technologies, the formula for better mobility. Electric cars are coming all over the world, but guess what? When you go all over the world, there's different connectors if you want to charge it. Vince Cariotti here is with a company called Phoenix Contact, and they make all these things. You, you need a connector in the world, you guys make them. We do, for, for the uh, um, infrastructure side and for the car side, we manufacture the connectors for the vehicles and the charge inlet and cables for those charging station manufacturers. Okay, let's start out with the ones that we've got sure. here in the U.S. Sure, I mean, sure. I think anybody watching right now that's based in the U.S. that's dealt with any kind of electric car knows what this looks like. Right, and that's the CCS combo connector, which is ace, it's an AC port here in DC. You're charging with DC when you're using this connector, and you're using the, the signal wires to send the signal back and forth to allow the DC charge. Now there's a strict AC J1772 connector that you would charge AC, say at your home or at Target or Myers if they have an AC charging station, or some of the larger charging stations allow you to charge DC, and that's the combo connector. Okay, now let's look at the European one, because sure. they actually have an advantage over those of us in the U.S., right? The, to, correct. So you, you go into it. So in, in Europe, what the advantage is for them is they can charge three phase, and they can charge three phase at home, which allows... So three phase, you're talking fast charging at home. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a somewhat fast charging, not as fast as if you were in D.C. with higher amperage, uh -huh. but you can definitely do a little faster charging and charge three phase at home, where, of course, here in the U.S., we charge with single phase. Uh-huh. So they designed a pretty good connector. They designed a good connector, absolutely. And then here's the one that's in China, and they sort of reverse engineered what's going on in the U.S. and Europe, is that right? They did. They, this is this, um, the, um, the GVT standard, which is a Chinese standard, and these big old pins are for DC, and they do DC charging with these. And there's a separate AC, there's a separate um, AC, and that's the one that's reverse engineered. If you look like, it just almost looks like the oh, yeah. uh, European. Right. So they charge DC and AC in two separate connectors on this GBT standard. Right. They're working on a new standard called the Chow J, which is a new standard that's gonna come up that originally was talking about replacing the GBT, but now I think it's gonna coexist with the GBT. So they're not sure. It was originally supposed to come out next year, but we're not sure when it's gonna really come out. But we work with our, the Chinese, our teams in China work with the Chinese government as part of setting up that. But GBT. there's a design flaw in the Chinese one, right? A safety issue. Yes, yeah. Let, let's point that out to everybody watching. So you got these pins that are in the connector that people hold. Exactly, so you've got the power in the connector that the people hold. And, and these would be hot. They could be, absolutely could be hot, absolutely. And so like if you drop this in a puddle, yowza. Absolutely. So they should have put the pins in here and uh, the female parts in the and, connector, exactly. right? Exactly, and you would look at the other the other standards. That's the way they do, are. Does the news this the, the chow the uh, does the that chow change J, it? Look, yeah, it looks like it's changing it. Yeah. Okay, yeah, very absolutely. interesting. Yeah. I never realized there was so much difference yes. all over the world in the yeah, in and, the and a lot of the complaints are, hey, why can't there be one standard globally? Well, just because of the way you know in Europe they use three phase in their houses, and we don't do that here. And then, of course, China's on their own. So it's there. There's what the differences are. Vince, thanks so much for the My explanation. Pleasure. Very Thank interesting. You. Thank you, John. Take care. Thanks so much for the time. With global reach across three continents, Tajin Automotive Technologies make vehicles lighter, safer, and more eco-friendly. Tajin Automotive Technologies: the formula for better mobility.